everybody, this is CT. Welcome back to another adventure in the world of the Crystal Ten. Today we're back on uh, Tinker 77's Patreon server in a series I've taken to calling Insert Title Here, for lack of a better uh, title choice. I know I really need to go ahead and uh, get up on uh, getting my videos posted, so if anybody has any uh, suggestions for an actual title, we can go ahead and put them in there. So that being said, anyway, today I decided I'm going to work on the walls upstairs. A little bit, at least. Oh, you notice I've got a netherite pickaxe. Yeah, uh, between the last episode and now, I went ahead and went to the nether and actually uh, got some uh, scraps the way you need for you make a netherite ingot. and combined it with my uh, mending pickaxe. So, that's a thing. In case you're wondering, as far as I know, uh, the end has not been changed too much. At least the ender ender is still there. So there's that. It helps making this thing uh, repaired a lot better. But like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and work on these walls. As you can see, I've extended from uh, the kitchen area to the front of this. Basically, I got tired of having to go all the way downstairs just to go ahead and get some sleep. It's annoying. First of all, grab some lunch on. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop these shoulders down here so I can go ahead and uh, get what I need. Alright, we'll get that, that, and that. I need to put that away before I lose it. Uh, I don't need that on me at the moment, because we're not uh, have to worry about fire for the most part. So I'll keep the bow and arrows on me. Yeah, we'll keep the dark oak logs as well. The nice thing about this is the fact that it'll be easy to go ahead and take care of this. We don't have to go this high match all of that and then just cover it up and it's just so easy making these walls it's the ones down there are gonna be a pain in the butt that way. Hmm, I may just go ahead and start. I'll go for start from the other side. Sort of. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start layering it all the way up to this point. All the way up to the top. Get over here. Then I'll straighten out the edge. I'll do the same for that side. Of course, there's a reason I went ahead and left the stone the way it is, or stone brick. But anyway, uh, mainly because that makes it easier to get up here. One thing I have been thinking about is doing some texture variation on this as well. Assuming I can go ahead and make uh, stone brick with some of the, the options we have in, in the nether. Like with the basalt and uh, the black rock. If we do, then great. It'll make these walls still a lot better. Or I should say the stone brick wall. Because yes, I know it's going to be boring looking at the same wall all the time. Or just stone brick. Where's the fun in that? And 
would help if I don't put end stone in the wrong spot. And yes, I do know the sun's starting to go down. There we go, timed that perfectly. I like when I do that because that means I don't keep pushing the button and have it complain at me that uh, I can't go to bed yet. Trust me, that's really annoying. And yes, I know this is boring, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, head back to uh, when I get this side pretty much even where I need it to be. Back in a few. This section is not completed, but uh, remember I had four stacks of uh, stone brick. I just used them all to go ahead and get, just get this up to what it is now. So, time to go grab some more end stone. Luckily I got some over here in the shulker box. Let's see here. What am I doing that for? Let's see. And we'll just keep doing this until we can't do this anymore. Looks like that's all skin stone bricks I can make. But yeah, for some of the projects like this, you really need to stock up on supplies. Because otherwise you're going to run out real quick. You'd be amazed at how fast this stuff goes. There, now we can safely get down. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. This will just go a little bit easier. Mainly because I don't have to worry about taking corners. On the bright side, I also don't have to worry about traffic, so there's that. Yeah, I'm going to stop right there. And you'll see why in just a minute. if you haven't already figured it out. But yeah, misplacing a block like that can be a pain in the butt sometimes. Other times, just work through it. Now if you make it uh, just a little too high, then it's a problem. Believe it or not, we're always thinking about what we're going to do when we go ahead and make these things. At least I am. So I was thinking to myself, how am I going to go ahead and uh, put the ceiling on here? And get back down without hurting myself. That's one reason I haven't finished that corner. Why is like that? And there we go. Grabbing a quick drink.
And now I can start putting the ceiling on here. And yes, it usually is that easy unless you do something like that. Which unfortunately happens all too often. See? And no, I'm not even crouching at this point. Oh. Alright, you get the idea. I'll be back when I go ahead and get the sucker covered up. See you in a few. I'm back. Uh, no, I haven't finished up the roof yet. I just wanted to stop and point out I've got a great view here. I mean, look at all this. I mean, is that just pretty countryside or what? Kind of hard to tell sometimes it's ground level, but when you get up high like this, you realize you get a really good view. In fact, the view is so good, I can even see my house from here. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist that one. But I figured I'd go ahead and show you the view, so. We'll get back with our regularly scheduled construction in just a minute. Okay, this roof is almost done. Now all I have to do is fill in the section over here. Just like that, we got the whole thing enclosed. Now you may have thought I'd uh, grab way too much end stone, but uh, this is what I've got left. And uh, remember, I had originally had like four stacks of end stone in here, and this one was full. Not anymore. Now they're both empty. Let's go and take a look on the inside, shall we? Uh, yeah, turn around. Okay, that was weird. We had some slight lag there. I thought we had lit the sucker up well enough so we wouldn't have to worry about that, but apparently not. Apparently there were still some dark spots in here.
Well, we'll take care of that. right side that means I can bring my bed up here up to where it's supposed to be at we'll be doing pretty good now hopefully this goes ahead and uh, doesn't get too dark in here speaking of bringing things up or something let's see if I got any lights down below You know, like those. Yes, I do have a stack. But I also need to run upstairs and grab some other stuff. You know, just be on the safe side. Yeah, that'll work for the moment. But well, yeah, what I want to do is go ahead and run back over here and grab some scaffolding. Because, trust me, it's a pain in the butt sometimes getting up and down. Yeah, I think I've got enough. But just be on the safe side. <laughs> Please ignore the sound effect anyway. Yeah. I'm over at a friend's house recording this, so. That should be sufficient. Yourself, not so many next time. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, I only need four next time. Three, four. Okay, I guess I went ahead and uh, got that down. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the far corner over here. Tell you, scaffolding makes things a lot easier. There. As long as I don't fall off, I'll be doing good.
And now we're actually getting some light in here. Yeah, I think that'll work for the moment. The problem is we gotta go ahead and fill up all of this with sea lanterns. And that's gonna take me a while to accumulate all that. Plus I need all the sea lanterns down below. I mean, I got two different levels to fill too. So, I'm gonna need some uh, good armor. I'm gonna need a good sword. One thing I'm going to need to do right now. What wrong way? You know, I wonder. Hey. Never really used scaffolding before. Uh, I think that's as far as it'll go. Call me crazy, but hmm, that works. Until it doesn't. Wow. Yeah, there should be a wall right about there. some light right about up here. You guys probably were laughing at me for how much uh, scaffolding I had. I'd say I kind of needed it, don't you? Should be about right. Wasn't what I was trying to do. Just hope it's in the right spot. One way to find.
find out. Yeah, it looks like it. That'll work. Okay. Let's see, what else can we put up? Okay, we're about to block out from there. Eh, should be safe put one there. Should be in the hallway. Yeah, I have been thinking about possibly, oh, I don't know, scaffolding everything in here. But, eh, I'm not going to do that. We only have 15 left. Wow. And I notice I need some right about here. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Hopefully this will keep things well lit enough so I don't have any problems. Ow. These I'm going to put away for right now. But I hope you enjoyed this episode anyway. Um, if you have did anyway, please consider leaving a like. If it sounds to be the first episode you've seen by me. Please consider subscribing. Remember to go ahead and uh, check out uh, Tinker77's uh, channel on YouTube. And keep in mind, he does stream on Twitch anyway. Uh, I couldn't exactly tell you the hours, unfortunately. I do also occasionally stream on Twitch. I don't always guarantee what day it's going to be, but when I do stream, it's usually about 9.30 uh, in the morning uh, Central Standard Time. So, keep that in mind. And maybe I shouldn't have put those away just yet, but oh well. And if you actually have a suggestion for the name for the series, please go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. Any questions? Same thing. And we'll see you guys next time. Uh, on whatever we decide to call us, which I'm currently calling, insert title here. <laughs>